Could the 2021 Astro World Festival tragedy have been prevented? One expert who has reviewed the discovery in the civil suit thinks so, and this is according to his report now filed in the case. And of course, as we remember, 10 people died on that tragic day. Based on his review, though, he says the signs were there before. Reporter Micah Hatfield joins us live from the newsroom right now with some of the shocking details he is documenting. Micah? Well, you know, as I've been reading through these court documents today, my jaw has been dropping, knowing what they were saying beforehand and knowing what we know now, unfortunately. It was concerns about safety. It was people talking in emails, mentioning if there were lawsuits afterwards, and also in writing, people saying during the concert that it should have been called off. At 9.01 p.m. November 5th of 2021, the Astroworld Festival was in full swing. Travis Scott would take the stage one minute later based on Houston Police's timeline. It was then that a command post manager sent a text to one of the security managers, according to his deposition, saying, quote, I would pull the plug, but that's just me. I know they'll try to fight through, but I would want it on the record that I didn't advise this to continue. Someone is going to end up dead. And the timeline given by Houston police shows the first 911 call was made at 9.07 p.m. just six minutes later, saying the crowd was in distress. The red flags were raised leading to the festival. Documents recently filed in the massive lawsuit against Travis Scott, Live Nation, and dozens of others show texts and emails sent less than a month prior, citing concerns like in this October 12th email saying, quote, my strong hunch is there will be stampeding and people hurt. The concerns were even documented in the minutes of their meeting following the 2019 Astroworld Festival with people who would be key players in the 2021 festival, according to court records, citing crowd pressure problems with the barricades and wanting to be more proactive for future festivals, putting a plan in place to mitigate those same issues. And it doesn't seem like they forgot. An email from Live Nation's chief security officer at the time says, quote, there are some serious issues that have to be resolved. 2019 had serious issues and a lot of eyes are on this year's festival. Micah Hatfield, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.